what tech product do people overspend the most on, and which new Apple product the biggest freaking ripoff? Well, hey everyone, I'm Jeff Bacalar. Welcome to Nope Sorry, the CNET Debate Show, where I argue over three rounds with my friends and colleagues over dead serious discourse. Debating me today to my left, Mr. Josh. Goldman, how's it going, Josh? Hey! Dude's doing finger guns like that's a thing people still do. All right, here's how the game works. We've got three rounds, five points up for grabs each round. Who's assigning these points, you ask? Well, I'll tell you who. It's Joseph Kaminsky to our right. Hello. Hello, Judge Joey. Tell us, please, what today's first topic is. Are we ready for round one? Fight. Yeah. Apple just released some really serious, expensive products. Which one do you guys think is the biggest ripoff? Go. All right, I'll start with this one. Uh, I'm going to say that the iPad Pro, specifically the larger one, is the biggest ripoff. Uh, our reviewer, Scott Stein, uh, reviewed the thing. I can't believe that starts at $1,000. To me, that's just insane. Um, you, he said you need a keyboard for it. He said you need the pencil for it. Before you know it, you're well over $1,200 for everything. Uh, I cannot understand that if you were to buy the most expensive version with all the bells and whistles, you're looking at $18.99. That is an insane amount of money for an iPad, considering it's not really uh, a laptop replacement. It's sort of in the middle. It has limited functionality. The USB-C uh, um, accessibility is a little wonky. iPad Pro, biggest ripoff right now. What do you say? Um, I was thinking, you know, my gut says. What's your gut say? My gut says iPhone. Okay. Yeah, um, of course. But that's kind of the Android in me. Sure. Um, but I'm thinking MacBook Air. Okay. Um, you know, it's been a while since they released one, so I understand why it's a little bit higher now. It's you know, it used to be nine ninety nine. They're still selling the old one at that. It's twelve ninety or it's twelve hundred now. Yeah. Um, that's a little high, even with the new components, because frankly, everybody else has those new components. Totally. All the Windows systems that go up against that in that ultra portable category are all cheaper with the same components and you know no touch screen and i'm kind of hating things that don't have touch screens these days understandable i mean there's really no wrong answer here uh joey round one who has what in terms of points i got you ahead by one point three to two okay why I, I liked your argument in terms of like the accessories and the building upon. I do also agree with Josh's, but I think you made a better argument when diving in into and also the possibilities that are in the future for USB-C, but just aren't there now. All right, as long as we could all mutually agree, it's a bunch of rip-offs. It is a bunch of bunch of, a bunch of rip-offs, okay. <laughs> all right, uh, moving along, it's time for round two. Josh will have the first say, but first, Joey, what's the topic? Uh, people love spending money on the latest, greatest tech, but what category of products do you think they overspend the most money on? Go. Okay. Headphones. Yeah. Right off the bat, headphones. There's just no reason for anybody to own a $300 one. <laughs> no, you're right. I can't <laughs> argue with you. I just, I mean, I applaud the people who stick with the ones that come with their phone. Yeah. Those are my heroes. Really? No, but... <laughs> <laughs> but at least they haven't overpaid for a pair of headphones that, you know, they're listening to the same junk streaming music right. out of their phone, and you don't need a $300 pair of headphones to do that. Okay. So that's, a, that's, that's all think. I got to say about that. All right, you say headphones, I agree. I think people who buy crazy expensive drones are overspending in a way that they don't understand. Who the who the hell are you where you need an $1,800 stabilizing 4K drone? Uh, not everyone is Casey Neistat. Not every, are, you, are you covering the Olympics for NBC? What are you doing? You don't need this over compl overly complicated thing that you know has 88 satellites connected to it. Look, I have a drone that's like $300 and even that's probably too much, but it is a fantastic experience. You don't need to go out of control. I see all these people like, I don't know, what should, what should I buy? The $1,200 drone or the $2,500? You don't need to spend that much money on drones. They're not even as good as they're gonna get. So just maybe get something entry level and save your money. And you really can't fly them anywhere. And you can't fly them anywhere. You're not a pilot. Stop buying those expensive drones, you maniac. All right, uh, Joey, what do you think? Oh, man, I mean, I don't want Josh to take this personal because I... <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I love the guy, but uh, you got it. You, the you, personal biases inside. No, Don't forget you, Judge you, Joey. You, you, you got that round as well with a score of three to two. Okay, but so what? What was about? What about it? Well. His argument were $300 headphones, which yeah. pale in comparison to a $1,200 drone. Yeah. What we're talking most money on, headphones, they fluctuate in prices and you do get some for free, but $300, I personally don't think is a lot of money for a pair of headphones. Wow, all right. Okay, six to four, I'm in the lead. I'm just squeaking by like I do through everything in life. Uh, Joey, what's round three? How is this all gonna be decided? Okay, for the final round, we're gonna go a little off course here. This one is for the denim nerds, all right? Okay. How long is it okay to go without washing your jeans? Go? Okay, uh, I'm gonna say now again, let's let's think about how much you wear jeans. Basically all I wear. Uh, Same here. Right? Uh, I think rotating between three pairs of jeans, I think it's okay to go eight weeks. That might sound like a lot, eight weeks between washing jeans. Because after eight weeks, I feel like enough time has passed where you can actually wash them and dry them. And they, you know, when jeans get like real loose after sure. you wear, and when you wash them and dry them, they like fit you for a second again. So I'm gonna say eight weeks is like that sweet spot. And I know what people are saying, like, oh, that seems gross. And yes, jeans are essentially towels that we wear that they just napkins, you just wipe crap on and all that. But eight weeks, what do you, what do you say? Never. The, the answer, <laughs> the answer like, Jeff, is never. Never? No, you never, well, almost never. What, I mean, you, sure, they get a little sticky, you know, or you get something like on them, you, you wanna wash them. Okay. But uh, in general, denim heads, <laughs> if Are, that's a thing. Am I in the presence I know, of I a think, denim head? I'm not, but I am aware of denim, uh, well, I don't know, I'm assuming they're like sneaker heads. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. denim aficionados okay. we'll go with. Um, they uh, don't wash their jeans very much at all. Months, months they go without washing their jeans. And uh, that allows them to uh, get abrasions in just the right places okay. so that when you do wash them, they get that nice broken in look to a... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cut me right off that bird sound. That bird sound? <laughs> oh, uh, so, so we have eight weeks versus literally never. Uh... All right, Joey, what do you think? Honestly, personally, outside of the studio, I would agree with you, but his argument was great when he went to the Gene aficionado, so I gave the slight edge to Josh for his argument 3-2. Wow. Okay. He, he, made, he, he had good reasoning behind it in terms of the worn-in look for the denim heads. All right, but how often do you wash your jeans? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, yeah, this, this eight weeks or less. Okay, or less? <laughs> I just think eight weeks is like a good rule of thumb and, to and go by. I have by. more than three pairs. Uh, no, I, okay. it's... Well, look, this has been great. Uh, eight to seven <laughs> is the final score. Sound convincing. What? Well, this was a good one. Eight to seven, you, oh, you. I, I, I won. Uh, I won. Hey, big, big uh, handshake. Josh Goldman, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the winner. What did I win? Oh, my goodness. Hey, it's what I always wanted. An inflatable football man that I can throw balls at. Because that's what I do in my spare time. I throw footballs at inflatable dolls. Tune in next week. You could submit a topic for debate by commenting in the section below. Please do that. Thank you so very much to Josh, to Joey, and to you for watching Nope Sorry. See you next time.